Sounded like a stingray, looked like a stingray, played like a stingray, waited like a stingray. It was a stingray. What's up, guys? Welcome to Hero Base, a place where we talk about bass, bass gear, music related topics. My name is Norb, and I hope you guys are doing awesomely well. On today's episode, as you saw in the preview, we're checking out stingrays again. Yeah. As you guys know, Stingrays are my favorite style of bass, not knocking on any other bass out there. But Stingrays are uh, hold a really um, special spot, a special place in my heart. I love me some Stingrays. I got the chance to play these two Stingrays, which I want to get some of them. I want to get some more Stingrays. Here we got the Stingray Special, right here. The Sterling by Music Man Ray 34. The cool thing about these two basses is that they've been taken up a notch. Um, one of the things that was really impressive with both basses is that the neck. It's an incredibly, it's brutal neck. We have a roasted maple neck on both of them. So tuning stability is spot on. When it came to the neck, the roasted, and, I, and I'm keep going on the roasted maple neck because they felt incredible. But the one from the Stingray Special felt a little bit more easy to play, I would say. Not that the Ray 34 wasn't easy to play. I don't know, I felt like it was sounded differently and all that sort of thing. So it, being comfortable with the neck, it was, yeah, Stingray uh, Special takes that one as well. I was listening and, and their playability and everything, they're pretty much the same bass, but they're not. Hmm. So, of course, the Sterling by Music Man is their imported line. They're made in Indonesia. Right up at the card, I have my Ray 35 review, which I own one. That review is it's one of my most watched videos here on the channel. I love that bass. It's an incredible instrument. And the Music Man uh, Stingray Special 5 also made a review of it. It's right up there on the card as well. So you can hear both basses, both five strings, back to back there if you want to see those two videos. Three band EQ for both basses is incredible. Um, it has a, a great versatility in both. So the Ray 34 had an Alnico pickup with the three band EQ, and the Stingray, the the Stingray Special, had the three band EQ with a Neodymium pickup, which their voice a little bit differently. Probably that's where the tone difference. Uh, I'm not gonna say probably. I'm gonna say most likely that's where the tone difference came from. I would say, of course. Weight-wise, for both bases, I have to say, Stingray Special is, is like two pounds lighter than the, the Ray 34. Um, so that point goes to the Stingray Special. Um, I love it. It was really light. Now, craftsmanship. Let's talk about that a little bit. When we were talking about how the bases were built and and the the necks and the pickups and all that sort of thing, Stingray Special takes takes it home. Um, for the price, for the money, for what you're paying, obviously this the is is a little bit far up there in craftsmanship, and and it's a really great option. It's a it's a greater base to a sense, money wise. 
uh, because of what we pay money wise and we see all the options, all the features we get, right? But I'm not going to knock on the Ray 34, man. The Ray 34 plays and sound like a Stingray. But I felt like I had more, I don't know, I don't know if shapeability is the word or uh, I had more options. Uh, every time you turn an op and the Stingray special, like you can feel the EQ curve moving. That makes any sense. And I hope you guys understand me like the eq differences every turn every movement they feel like something changed The, the Ray 34, in that case, yes, they, they when, when I was trying to EQ, but I feel like I had a way, I still feel like I had more options for the Stingray Special than the Ray 34. Not to say that you cannot get those funky slappy tones, uh, hard rock, whatever you, tones you want to get from both bases. Both bases, you're going to get those tones out of them. I bet you. Uh, I can guarantee that. People, if you like this type of content, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button so every time that we have a new video, you will get notified. Check us out on our other social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next one.